Hey right everyone, hope you're doing well, hope you're having a good Sunday, I know I am, got breakfast bar right next to me, so if you hear me chewing, eating, sorry but I'm hungry, it's breakfast. Alright well, today I'll be doing a review on my stylus, now it's just a, a cheap stylus I got off a website for a pound, but it does well, I mean like, it's not hard top, it's quite soft, like, I can bend it, um, you know, so... It's alright, but it does work. You know, I like it. You know, obviously, sometimes you've got to press a bit harder for it to read the uh, touch of it, but I guess that's why it's a bit soft. It's like basically like your fingertip in it. It's a bit squidgy, so it works well. But uh, what I'm doing today is review on how it works while writing on OneNote and SuperNote. Now, OneNote is a Microsoft app. Um, it's quite powerful. It's quite good. You can write a note. And it will automatically sync towards all your devices. So if I write a note on here, it will sync to my Windows phone in probably about one minute. So it's a great thing about that. And it also uploads to SkyDrive so I can access it on another PC if I'm not logged into it. So it's quite a good app and it's very powerful, you know, the sharing capabilities. And the other app is SuperNote. Uh, I think that's an ASOS uh, app. I'm not use it that much. Um, but it's not bad. I mean, I technically don't use note apps that much. I think I only use one note to do a shopping list. And it actually worked well. But now I do my shopping online, so I really don't need it. Alright, so let's get into one note. Let's see if I can bring that a bit closer. Alright, so one note, it first starts you off with my first note. But it's not my first note, but it opens up just like that. Let's see if I can get that a bit lower. Yeah. Now, sorry if my video has been a bit dark lately. I can see it going a bit dark now. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's the light on the camera. Mm. Don't know. I don't know. It's a bit sunny outside. I don't know if that's affecting it, but I will find out how to solve it. I'll ask around. But anyway, so if I click down here to my shopping list, as you can see, it's got what I need needed: coconut milk, sweet potatoes, chicken, naan. If you want to know what I was cooking, ask me and I'll leave the recipe down below. But it's a good app, you know, you can click on and off. So basically when I'm walking around Morrison's, if I've got my cinnamon, click, got it, check, check, all that. It's quite powerful, you know. And so uh, you type in whatever else I wanted. And, uh, but the, the powerful thing about OneNote is that little icon that pops up. You click on that. You get a whole list of options. Copy and paste, tag, undo, tables, list, even camera. So like a list. Click on the little arrow and you've got all the you know bullet points really. You can have the, the stars, the lines, the one, two, A, B, C. Click enter. It's not bad, but like I said I don't use OneNote that much on the tablet. I more use it on my phone, but that's quite a rare occasion. Uh, so let's click on like my, actually no let's go through explore one note basically the best thing about it, it gives you a tutorial of how to use it you know what is one note mobile 2010 but there was 2013 and it's 2010 version but it tells you how to get started the look and sound of it how to make things go faster you know it's quite good got ex welcome to one note basically it gives you uh, a lowdown of what you can do so Get all your notes from a virtually anywhere using your phone, computer, or browser, which I explained earlier. And then it's got an example simple travel plans. The one thing is annoying every time I click on a note, a bloody keyboard pops up, and I don't want it to, but there's no settings to change that. So basically, here's a sample travel plans. So it's got his flight number, he's got his flight reservation, hotel, places to visit, and again. It's got, you know, Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, and it's got tick, so that means he's probably seen it already. Central Park, you know, it's not ticked because he's not been there. Now the bottom, it's got like a little image of a map. And that's about it, yeah, you can move the map around, but it's not like a working map, like you can find your location, but, uh, So if you go to my first note, basically this is where you can start writing your first note, obviously. So if I click on here, obviously it's asking me to type, but I'm using the stylus. So let's go to draw. Oh no, that's draw to type those in there. You can actually just draw. If I click on here, yeah there it is. 
draw. So now I can just draw whatever I want in my note. So if I did want to write down notes quicker with my pen, instead of typing it, you know, just like, go to the super market. Now obviously my handwriting is atrocious, but it actually looks just like that in real life. But as you saw what I was writing, it kept up, you know, there was hardly any delay. The only time there is a big delay between this touching the screen and the like basically the ink is if you go really fast. So if I go slow, it's almost working perfectly. But then if I start going really fast, you know, there's you know a split second delay. Nothing too much anyway, but there's my first note, go to the supermarket with a few lines on it. You know, the pen works fine on one note. I have no quarrels with it. Again, there's that icon, you can see it. The icon is always around, so click on that. It gives me more options now of what kind of pen I want, the color of the pen, and the eraser. So if I've got pen two, that's thin, medium, thick, so let's choose thick, red. Let's go, oh, look at that, see? That's a bit easier to see on the screen. And you see there's not much delay, only a split second or two. But it's working all right. So I'm not drawing anything particular. I'm just drawing lines. There, see, as the pen works great with one note. Um, what other options can you do, really? So you've got the pen. You can exit, draw. The icon pops up again. Tables, list, tags. You know, it's a good app. Um, you know, if you want to get your notes in all together. But I don't really have that kind of hectic style where I need to use one app continuously. Like I work full time, but it's notes at work are in a book at work I don't need my tablet for it specifically so if you're I guess if you've got a, if you're quite a workhorse your business or your company needs you to use one note or a note taking app because you're going to a lot of meetings then yeah it worked quite well um, I, I do like it especially that it does sync to your SkyDrive then to your phone your PC basically everywhere that you're signed in using your Windows Live account that's pretty good so I'm gonna explore super note now super note has a tutorial as well so if you click on that it's got all the pages so let's click on I'm guessing that's page one and it loads up and you know it looks more like one note looked very professional you know quite plain straight to the point this is a bit more the graphics the color scheme is quite nice it's you know more appealing to the eye um, it does almost look kid proof as well, but sometimes you need that to understand something better. So basically, this first page is giving you quite a nice, you know, drawing of right type and draw, and the icons with the pictures next to it. You know, so basically, obviously, that's the type, that's the draw. And the same here, so if you click color, you've got the brush, stroke, opacity, and color. Bloody color spelt wrong, but I guess I'm in England, not in America, so. It's correct in America, wrong in England, but meh. And as you can see down here, they've already written something. And you can see the writing is definitely written with someone with a stylus pen. They've not typed it in, which is, I guess, good. Um, and I've only just noticed on the camera that it's a bit wonky and you can't see everything. I'm just going to bring the camera down a slight, let's see if it doesn't jitter too much, or the camera doesn't fall. How do I do this? Yeah, hold on a sec. Ah! There we go. Du, 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 du. Oh shit, a bit too much. Hiya! And there we go, and drop. Oh, see, the lighting looks a lot better like that when the tablet's not facing directly on the camera. If I do it like that again, it just darkens everything, doesn't it? I don't know, maybe it's the camera or what. It might be the camera. Bright dark oh well we'll have to just deal with it for now I apologize at the bottom you can see space delete and enter these icons are continuously on the page so obviously that's delete that's to enter next page insert you can insert pictures camera text video sound which is good more than just a note app it's a selection mode select and drag an object scale it rotate it move it so as you can see from that image there so if that's your note Two pictures overlapping, looks good. You can share it to Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, so obviously it doesn't have the automatic synchronization to SkyDrive. 
but that's just the SkyDrive. If you want to share this on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, I guess you've got a bit more option. You know, you can send an email to your friend, or you want to share a picture or your collage that you made. Twitter, Facebook. What's next? You can also keep them private. You know, certain pages private so no one can read them. This is quite good. Another page. Oh, thank you for reading. All right, so let's click back. Back from the tutorial. I made a, a note earlier when I was messing around, but oh, just delete that. Yeah, delete. Okay, deleting. Okay, you just have to keep clicking. Okay, which is annoying. So let's click. Add a notebook. Notebook. Plain. Blah blah. All right. So here's the note. And what I like about it is it does neaten up your lines a little bit. So right now it's on right. So if I type in like hi, it goes there. So you can have it on your on your grid, or you can just draw. So hi. So whichever one you prefer, really. If you want to take notes like that, or like this. But I'll show you how quickly it is with just the writing. So the only thing is, with when you click the writing tab, you have to always click the space bar at the bottom. Because it doesn't automatically give that extra line, you know what I mean. So if I click delete, it deletes it straight away. So you have to click clicking space, which is a tad annoying if you want to really write quick. But I guess you can go through it and then put spaces between it. But again, it would be better if it just automatically did a space after everything you wrote. But yeah, all right. So let's uh, quickly write something. So hi, how are uh, you ah oh, see I didn't notice that I've just typed in how are you on top of another and it's done it right there so if I just bring that closer will it zoom how are oh that was supposed to be you but it looks like a half a smiley face so I'm guessing you have to just write how just wait that for you so how are you again the pen you know the it's all right it's not bad like obviously it's just a a normal stylus ain't a digitized one which obviously would work more or less more like a pen because it's digital we can you know it knows exactly where you're going but if I concentrate so like if I do it really slow you know it's just like if there's a bit more delay in the super note than there is in one note uh, but it works alright as long as you do it at a normal pace so like you tube uh, see, I couldn't really put the T on there. Alright, but then now you can draw. So, hi. What's up? It works fine, you know, not bad. It's a bit more of the, like I said, maybe half a second. But it's going alright. But now, what I like about Super Note, insert. Actually, let's start a whole new one. Let's go back. Open a new one. Now, let's insert an image. That's me and someone's nose. Alright, so when insert an image, just give it a sec. So there we go. Gosling, nice drink. Now you can spin it around, and zoom up and down. So let's leave that there. Click up, just click on the tab. There we go. Now we can draw. So good drink. There we go. Bang. There's my note. Now you can share it. Well, what I like about this, you can share it to fresh paint. So if you want to add any more color to it, so you can see there. It's going to share it. Now just get out of the app, go to fresh paint, and there it is. Just click on that. Click on there. Click on it again. Now it's just loading up. Fine, so there it is now it's got all that. Click there, click this side. Ooh, now, technically, I can now do whatever I want with my note in Fresh Paint. So, I've got any color? Yeah, I think that's an eraser actually, isn't it? So, let's go for a crayon. It's yellow. Ooh, it's quite big though, isn't it? Can't really see it, but that's supposed to say nice. Yeah, so that's a good uh, thing about OneNote. Not OneNote, SuperNote. You can share it to Fresh Paint and add your final little touches if you want. 
But as you can see, the pen for fresh paint, it works quite nice, you know, as well. You know, that's the big thick crayon, so if I go choose a different brush, so it's this wide brush, let's choose a, a red colour. You know, you just gotta move it around nice. Look at that. It's a bit, you can see the bit of delay, but it do, it will follow unless you go really quick and then it smudges like that. So if I do it from here, slow. But now if I do it here, quick. See what I mean? Kind of did smudge, but I guess that would actually happen if you had a real paintbrush. If you went really quick, it would kind of give that effect. Mm. Yeah, I'd say you know the pen is nice. You can write. You just gotta be a bit slow. You won't write as quick as you would with a normal pen to paper. But I don't think you'll ever be able to write that quick on a tablet, even if it's a digitized one like the Microsoft Surface Pro. Well, I don't think anyone could write that quick or as neat on a tablet than it is the pen and paper. You just don't get that same feel. That like, I can feel it, but it's because it's not a ballpoint. You know that little tip at the end. But yeah, so um, this is a quick, well I say quick, I think that's quite near 20 minutes long, but you know, it's not bad, it works, I use it, you know, I tap around, I do prefer it than using my, my finger, I've gotten so used to it now, you know, it just, it just works fine, you know, so, you know, freak out at Comic Con, click that, and it's loading, you know, the pen works beautiful, yeah, so, Thank you very much for watching, please like, subscribe, share and if there's any other video you'd like me to do please let me know down below or send me a private message like many of you have which thank you very much, it's good to know that people are watching and would like to see more. Uh, I will be uploading a video of World of Warcraft, how it runs on this tablet probably tonight or tomorrow, it's quite a large file so I'm not sure how long that will take to actually upload to YouTube but I'll do that soon. All right. Hope you guys have a good Sunday. I'm gonna get back, to, back. Oh yeah, back to my breakfast bar, which is probably a bit cold, but it still tastes good. So, see ya.